Father, as I go through your message, Father, open your hearts. Let them understand the way that you want them. Let this way go to open if you are planted in me, O Lord. If something to drop in the hearts of your children. I thank you for this opportunity this morning, O Lord, to stand before your children. Give me the way. I pray in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Siaboma. I need to run. Swung at the leadership of the church for giving me that opportunity to once again preach this word before you. As a name, our verse today will come from the book of Psalms. Let's all take to Psalms. 145 verses 14 to 17. Sometimes, what I like when we say, we see differently and we interpret it differently, but I pray in this moment in time that. The Lord reveals to you whatever hidden message is today's word. Hallelujah. Lord is good. Let me read the way of the day of Salon. This uh, uh, Psalms 145, verse 14 to 17. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up who are all who are bowed down. The eyes of all looks to you and to give them their food of them. At the proper time, you open your head and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and love towards all he made. Hallelujah. In the desire it desires. And I have given the theme for the day's sermon, the power of your desire. Hallelujah. The power of your desire. Pastor if you look at everyone in this place, I heard Pastor Mwaki talking about that he has been desiring something. When he desired something, he took action towards the desire and poured his heart to the Lord. The Lord knows our desires, Pastor. That which is locked in you, the Lord knows it. All you have to do, Pastor, is pour it to the Lord. And he will make it become true. Pastor when you look at the word desire, desire is a strong feeling of wanting to have something. That strong feeling of wanting to have something, Pastor or wish something to happen. If we hearts or our minds to project everything we have inside us, Bazalani. See if I can project that and have all our desires shown on the projector. I Bazalani, I will not be because each and every time as a human being, 
Jesus Christ. There is something in you you desire. Hallelujah. If you look at life, life is like a game. But I can say today, there is no return match. Where you say pilots is playing some downs. Maybe they lose today. And you have got hope that tomorrow they might win. Because there are two legs there. But in life, there is no return match for someone. Hallelujah. So whatever time you get, Barcelona, use it according. Use it according to the word of God. Because you have only one and one life. Where you've got time to fix your life with your God. God knows, Basalani, your desires. Hallelujah. Amen. So whatever time you get to fix your life with God, hold it with both your hands. Make your desires known to God. Basalani, desire is a very important ingredient of life. It is a, a way of showing that you want to be better. Let your desire, Basalani, be with God's word. Don't desire things of the world out there. Because, Basalani, they might throw you in trouble tomorrow. As I have already said, desire is a craving to do better. Crave to do better in your life, Basalani, today. The stronger the desire, the more God will bless you. Basalani, if I look uh, into the book of Psalms again, and go to Psalms 37, Psalms 37, verse 4, it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Basalani, we should always be in right standing with God. Everything we do should be aligned with God's will, and He will give you your heart desires. Where I read, the book says, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you your heart desires. It doesn't say some of your heart desires. It doesn't pick some things in life. Whatever you desire, if you delight in the Lord, he will give you your heart desires. Hallelujah. Amen. When we go again to Proverbs 10. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10. The verse is 24. The Bible says, What the wicked prays will overtake him, and what the righteous desire will be granted. Basalani, the Bible tells us that our desire should not be wicked. Because if you have got wicked desires in your heart, each and every time 
imbued with that guilty conscience. You've got something behind your mind which is telling you that whatever you are thinking of now, whatever you are building up into your mind is not good. But when you desire something which is good, something which is godly, you are free, Basalak. Because you know that everything I desire, if it is righteous, the Lord is going to grant it to me. The Lord is listening to our prayers, Basalak, each and every time. Our prayers, O Jehovah, are the projection of our desires in our hearts. When we speak it out to God, God listens. He doesn't sleep or stop of us alone. He's always listening to our prayers. And God answers. We have heard a lot of people speaking up here. Giving testimonies of what the Lord has done to them. It started as a desire of Salami. And they spoke it out. They prayed to God. It came out as a prayer. And God heard their prayers and answered. Hallelujah. Again, when we visit the book of Mark. Mark 11, verse 24. The word of the Lord says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in the prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Pazalani will go to the Lord and pray. Have a winning attitude. Don't pray and say, maybe God will hear me. But pray with the mind and belief that God has heard my prayers and He is going to answer it. And surely God will. Hallelujah. Desire before you pray. Before you make your prayer, make sure that you visualize whatever you want. Build it up in your mind. God will see that. Before you open your mouth to pray, God will give answer to you as Allah. Let's go to the book of Psalms again. Psalms 51, I, Psalms 55. Psalms 55. Verse 1. It says, Listen to my prayer, O oh God. Do not know my plea. As you plead to your God, Bazalon, He looks into your heart. When you are right standing with Him, He will see your desires from your heart and He will answer you. Bazalon, our God, and every God. Our God is a God who listens. Our God is a God who answers our prayers, Basalan. As children of God, we know our God can afford us. Hallelujah. All we have to do is ask from Him. Therefore, Basalan, we should desire bread, not crabs. The problem with us was a lot. Masyam, we limit. Instead of asking for bread, when I would like to do, when I pass, 
Este é o tudo que disse, o que tu bava, o que disse, o que tu dá. Loba aí, loba aí, pois ela, o tola não conta. We tend to limit God. Our God is the owner of all the wealth in the world. Everything belongs to Him. Nzala, nós o chamamos para o banco. O cunco não tem nem zoo. O cunco não tem fundo, o cunco não tem vídeo. A mulher se deu a hundred grand para salário. He blesses with that hundred grand. Two days time, it is gone, it is finished. Go for bigger things, para salário. When you go to God, you know your God is able. Your God is the owner of each and everything, all the wealth in this world, all. All the gold, everything belongs to him. All we have to do is to ask. And ask in abundance. Don't limit him to say, God, I am looking for this one thing. And by that, you'll be limiting him. You'll be saying, God, you can't extend yourself to a certain level. You can only give me this more. But our God is an able God. True desire, Masalad, is a force that brings up progress in you. Allah, hallelujah. Masalad, I'm going to go through points. Points that are the things that prove your desire in life. Hallelujah. Point number one. What are you willing to go? What is your will in life? What is pushing you in life? What desires do you have in life? Do you desire things of the world out there? Or you desire things of God? Where are you going with your life? If you take back Look back. What do you see? If you look at where you are standing right now, what do you see? If you look into the future, Masalwan, what do you see? Masalwan, God loves us. God loves us, Masalwan. During the week on Friday, we had some lessons here, and our apostle said something very profound. He said, as the children of God, sometimes we die of thirst while we are standing in a pool of fresh water. Communicate with him through prayer. Tell him your heart desires, Masalon, and he will come through for you. Don't be shy. Don't be mean. All that child in Kunewea. Pray for yourself. Pray for your neighbor. And also remember to pray for your enemy so that when God blesses you, he Pichava suave. 
There was this uncle of mine who liked beer so much. So when he got to the beer hall, whenever there was something in that mug, he would take it all. Eating him up, he so happy. Now, he was so happy. Now, he was so happy. In the great and powerful name of Jesus. Point number two. What are you willing to pursue? If you have got a desire and you are not willing to pursue it, it will frustrate you. It will frustrate you in a way that you will think that God does not answer prayers. So if you have got a desire, Wait, says faith without action is dead. So what you have to do, Masalani, when you have got a desire in your heart, do something. Something you can do is to go before the Lord and say, Yeah, my God, I have got a desire of ABC. Please help me, God. God is faithful all the time. Hallelujah. Point number three. Discover. If you do not discover what God has in store for you, Masalad, you will suffer to have your breakthroughs. Discover what God wants you to do. You cannot desire before you get it. Or I can say desire before you get it. Build it into your mind. Visualize it. If you are desiring a wedding was about, see yourself wearing that nice suit. See her even before she is there wearing that immaculate dress. Visualize it. See it. And then you pray for it. Pray for God to give you that partner you desire. The partner who will help of Christianity together with you, Masala. Hallelujah. Masala, point number four, it says acquire. If you require a miracle, take a step that requires what your miracle requires. Hallelujah. Amen. There was a man by the name of Naaman in the Bible. He had lepros, Basalani. The ayah's lepros is a disease which eats away flesh, starts with your toes, your fingers, they are all gone. Leprosy is a very dangerous disease. So Naman had leprosy. And he was told to go and dip himself seven times to the river Jordan so that he could be healed. But Naman, what a high, this is a job. There are a lot of rivers around here. Why do you want me to go there? Masalone. Sometimes the distractions of God seem very stupid. They seem very silly. But what you have to do, Masalwan, you should just follow sheepish. Like a sheep going to the slaughter. Yeah, we have slaughtered too. Yeah, I'm now here. 
but you Basala today you try and use your own intellectual understanding but how can I just go and tip myself in water why don't you pray for me is just come from God as a formula Basala Hallelujah Thank you for your way today, Lord. Point number five. Retire. Don't retire. When you miss one chance, try again. Stay in that position. The Bible tells us that we should always Pray. Pray without ceasing. Keep on keeping on. That's a lot. It's not that if you pray today and then in the evening you have got your answers. Whatever you desire in your heart, to keep on praying for it. That's a lot. Don't tire. Gather momentum. Answer is by the door. Don't shut the door and shut your blessings out. Hallelujah. Point number six. Speak it. Don't bottle it inside you. Let it out. That's the Lord. The more you say it, the more the blessings. Come, when you are praying for something, pray for your desires. Sometimes you go through a lot of heat. There is a lot of heat which is generated from your surroundings. You want it. You wish for it. Pray for it. As that heat is accumulating, the more the heat, the more your blessings, Basalwan. When I look at the atmosphere as an example, when we are about to have rains, there is a lot of heat which happens around. And when the heat is accumulating, all the water bodies around the depths, the lakes, the rivers, they lose their water through evaporation. Human beings and plants, they lose their water through evapotranspiration. And that water is going into the atmosphere as vapor. Geographically, they say, the higher you go, the cooler, the cooler it becomes. So when the vapor gets into the atmosphere, it cools down, condenses, precipitates to form water problems. The darker the clouds, Barcelona, the greater the rain. The more the pain you go through when you are praying for your desire, the greater the blessings. Hallelujah. Basalone. My last point is persistence. Persist. Persist. And persist. Have a never die attitude. Don't give up. Be like that man beside the pool of Bethsaida was alone. If he had gone for 20 days and say, Ah, I've been going to that pool. No, now it's one week. I didn't get my healing. Was he going to get it? No. 
38 years is not a joke. 38 years of persistence, thriving to get his desires. When Jesus came, he delivered it to him. Bazalani stayed in that position. Don't move, for Jesus is coming with your blessings. The moment you say, now I am tired, and you shift from that position, you come to deliver and fight you are not there. Bazalani, in life we have to persist. His desire was to be healed. After 38 years, he got his healing. Bazalani, I want to leave you with a question. What is your desire today? I thank you.